Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all let me kick off by thanking you so much for all the interest in the last video that I posted. Um, this is going to be part two of this um, short series of videos showing you how I created my backing track for the cover version of Enjoy the Silence by Depeche Mode. So the first one we did uh, last week was the introduction and this one is sort of a bridge between the introduction and the first verse and it also comes in um, through the song as well so you can hear it playing in the background and what I'll do I'll just let you hear it uh, in its entirety Now in the song uh, when I did the cover version I did play my guitar over it. Um, uh, the guitar part um, is, is quite a, the distinctive part so if you're going to create a cover version of this you either need to play the guitar part or play it on the keyboard somehow and what I'll do um, I'll show you how to play it on the keyboard um, using one of the voices uh, that's sort of running in the background. Um, but we'll, we'll cover that towards the end. So first of all, um, the the first um, in the first video I showed you how to do the introduction. So what I'd like you to do to start with is to take that introduction, which sounded like this. Because uh, it's using obviously the same tempo, it's using the same um, scale setting, um, it's a four bar length uh, as well and the, the analog synthesizer we can reuse that so this analog synthesizer sound does actually carry over into the next, um, next sequence that I'm going to show you today. So what I'd like you to do is just go in and save that again, but save it to the next memory slot. So I've currently got mine on E11, so save, I'm going to save mine, or I've already saved mine to E12. So on there I've got the same analog synthesizer sound, or very similar, probably just been filtered a little bit differently, but it's in a sense the same sound. And what I'd like you to do then, once you've saved that onto a new memory uh, bank, a new memory channel or memory position rather, um, is to first of all change it to, it's currently on a four measure setting, I want you to change it back to a one measure setting. So go into the menu, go into pattern length, press enter, change it from four back to one, press enter. So the analog pattern still roughly sounds the same. You won't hear any difference with that. And then what I'd like you to do then is we're going to delete the drums, the digital synth one and two. So press the shift key down, press sorry, press the digital one synth, press shift and erase. It says pattern erase digital one, you say enter and then enter again and that's erased that one. We do the same for digital synth 2 so press shift erase, pattern erase digital synth 2, press enter and enter again and then the drums shift and erase, pattern erase drum, enter and then enter again. So all we've got now if I switch all the voices back on again we'll just have the digital sorry the analog synthesizer so once you've got to that stage we're ready for the next stage so I'll just turn the analog synth off for a moment and we'll just show you the drum pattern that we're going to use um, so we changed the kit slightly on this one as well so we've, we're using for the drum kit I'm using the 
TR909 Kit 1 because of an a interesting sound that it's got. It's got like a reverse cymbal sound which I use at the very end of the pattern and we'll come to that later but um, use the TR909 Kit 1 and the drums that I'm using is the, is the bass drum so the bass drum appears on positions 1, 5, 9 and 13 in measure 1 and 1, 5, 9 and 13 in measure 2. The partial hi-hat appears on positions 3 and 4 in measure 1 and 11 and 12 and exactly the same in measure 2. So 3, 4, 11 and 12. And the final drum sound of these, this first part is going to be the open eye hat and that goes on 5, 13 and then 5 and 13 of measure 2. So after you've done that it should sound something like this. The bass drum might be a little loud so if you press the bass drum then use the level control just bring that level down a little bit might be okay for you it's entirely up to you you can mix it exactly how you want but to change the, the drum levels which you might not know how to do is you press the drum and then use the level control to vary the level of that particular drum sound so the open eye hat you can vary the level of that and the, and the partial hi-hat too. So you can mix it to exactly how you want it to sound. Okay, that's the drum sound. We've got the analog synth sound, so let's listen to them both together. So we don't need to worry about the analog synth for the moment. That's absolutely fine as it is. The digital synth one Again, we're using the same voice as before, this uh, D50 Stack 1 voice. Um, the chords are similar chords, but played in a slightly different way. So the chords that I'm playing, um, we've, we are shifting the voice again. It's shifted up one octave, and I'm playing a... starting with a C. So starting with a C. E flat and G and then I'm moving the C down to the B flat so when it plays it's going to play some sound something like this but there's, a, there's going to be some more chords that we're going to put over the top of that as well so record this one these first two chords um, so go back to the first measure. We're going to record this one with the step recorder. So press step recorder, press the first chord which is the C, E flat and G and move it on with the key hold to the end of the first measure. There we are on to the second measure now. Now press the second version of that chord which is the B flat E flat and G and move that on now with the key hold to the end of that measure. Just press step recorder to turn it off and have a listen. Now below that the bass sound that I'm going to put in for that is going to be played just down the keyboard here. But we're going to do this with the real-time recorder. Now we don't want it to last the whole length of the of the measure. We just want it like a almost like a stab at the beginning, but just a, a gradually fading stab. So something like that. Like that. So press record. Remember the chord you're playing is C, E flat and G, then B flat, E flat and G. So 
that sounds good. That's that's more or less the sound that you, you're aiming to get. Now the last sound is quite nice. It's this um, bass sound. Now in the original version I did of this, I used um, a voice on the sequencer setting called TB Square Sequence 1. Now because I'm going to show you how to play the, the, the guitar part over the top of this. I thought we'd change that voice and I'm going to change it to a bass voice which is called MKS50 Bass 1. Now you may need just to play about with the filters a little bit and the level. You want that sort of bow sound. So the the way that you program that in is uh, we're playing we're shifted down one octave then we're starting with a C note here and we want that C note we want it on positions one three five six eight nine eleven twelve fourteen and fifteen in bar one and in bar two we want this E flat note on the same positions 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12, 14 and 15 and that will sound something like this Just play about with the filters until you get that sound that you want. But that's the sound you're aiming for. Something like that. Okay, now we've got two measures worth, or one measure as it says on here. It gets a little bit confusing, but we're going to turn that now into a four measure, or two measure on here. So we're going to have four of these lit up over here. So currently we've got two lit up. If I hold the shift key down, you see there's two lit up. We're going to turn that into so there's four lit up. So press the menu key. Press you're, in, you're still in pattern length, so press enter and then change it from measure one to measure two. Press enter with copying. Yes, enter. Completed. So we should have the So what we're going to do with that, there's a very slight variation on the analog synthesizer and it comes in on the on the fourth measure. So if we go to measure four, because we've got this, this sound going on there, we're going to change that last, last but one note, because it originally was a G, we're going to change it to an F. Sorry, it was originally an E flat. We're going to change it to an F. <laughs> you might think, well, why, why bother? But it just makes it sound a little bit more interesting. So to do that, we're going to erase that note there. So press the erase button and press the 13. Press the F note, this one here, and then press 13. Now we should have a slight variation now in that analog pattern. hear it <laughs> sort of blink and you'll miss it sort of thing but there is a slight variation going on there ah so now what we're going to do we're going to turn that four uh, two bar into a four bar so press the menu key press the pattern length where which we're already in press enter measure two now change it to four measures press enter with copying yes please so we've now copied that and the final couple of tweaks we're going to do now. We're going to do a tweak with the bass. So in measure five, if we go to measure five now, we're going to we're going to change that measure five, which which is a C note. We're going to put uh, a couple of extra C notes in there into positions 13 and 16. So press the C note, press 13 and 16.
okay. You might think, well, what's the difference? But there is a slight difference there. If you don't want to do it, it's entirely up to you. But uh, this is the way that I did the original, uh, the version that I did uh, for my cover version, which is what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> People will say, oh, it's not like the original. It's not like the original, but uh, it's... Um, it's my my take on it, so it's just my cover version. So, if you want to do the original, go back to the original and uh, and do it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, final thing uh, I think, which is the piece de resistance, is this backward symbol sound, which I love. Now, the backward symbol appears on the very last measure, measure eight and on position one so press the backward symbol which is it's this note it's it's called cym2 and press one so you'll hear that backward symbol now come in at the very end sounds quite good okay now I'm going to show you that lead part that you're gonna that you might want to play in on top of it so go to the MK base which is on digital synth 2 and just take it back up one octave and the notes you're going to play it starts on an E E um, flat here in fact I've got the guitar sound set up over here this is what the guitar sound sounds like you can't get that sort of run down the neck that's sliding into it effect quite the same on a git on the keyboard but you can you can make the sound sound something like it so the notes it starts on it starts on an E flat here so it goes so E flat to C to D don't worry I'll write this down in the notes in the description so it goes E flat C D E flat C B flat then down to C, then to A flat, so A flat G. Don't you're always going back to this this root note here, so it's always alternating between the two. Then it goes up to this E flat again. So C down to B flat. Now in the guitar part, I, I just go that again. But I think listening to the record, it, it changes slightly at the very at the very end. So it goes something like like that at the very end. So let me play it along with the sequence. I think that sounds something like the original record. Um, you may say no, no, it doesn't, but <laughs> it, it, it's okay. It's entirely up to you. You can do it exactly how you want. It's your own cover version. Uh, you do it exactly the way you want to play it. And if you want to play it on the guitar, drop me a comment, and I'll I'll try and do you a guitar tutorial on this as well. <laughs> I'm not great on the guitar, but I, I can sort of get by. Anyway, don't forget to save it. What you've done so far. Um, save your work and then hopefully in a week's time or so in it, well, it, maybe t the weekend I'll have a go at doing the next parts for you anyway take care I wish you all the best this has been a slightly longer longer video thanks again for all the interest and all the new subscribers too it's really much appreciated so don't forget if you like the stuff that I'm doing please consider subscribing it's always really appreciated Anyway, thanks a lot see you again soon Bye for now.